So, this might seem a bit of a strange video, however, I've got this, this is my LG TV, which I bought about 10 years ago. And it's a good enough TV, 1080p, good picture, decent sound. However, I can't switch it off and on. Well, I can switch it off. Okay, that's on standby, but when I go to switch it on again, it'll go on just now because it's just been turned off. It's been back on. But if I switch it on standby and I leave it overnight and try to switch it on, it won't go back on. I'll just, the green light will just flash three or four times and then it'll go on to the red light again. It just won't go on. It takes you days to get it on again. So that is one problem. The other problem is this burns 250 watts per hour, this TV. So I think it's time for an upgrade, maybe buy a smart TV. Uh, smart TV burns 118 watts per hour. This TV cost me £500 10 years ago. Plus the fact that because I can't turn it off, uh, it's actually on 24-7. So it's costing a fortune. So I think that the money I save in electricity buying a new TV will actually pay for the TV in about a year's time. So that is my justification for putting my hand in my pocket and buying a TV. It's not like me. However, when there's money to be saved, it's justified. So this is my new TV. Uh, it's a 65 inch Toshiba. And I really bought this because it says it was 118 watts. Which is, it says there, 118 watts. However, when you che we check the back of it, it's no, it's 200 watts. I'm still saving the other TV, I thought our TV was 250 watts. It was 230 watts, so I'm still saving 30 watts uh, per hour. Uh, and I can turn this TV off when at night time and I can turn it off and I go out, so I'm saving money there again. So, I'm saving money. This TV was actually 449.99, which was 50 pounds cheaper than my last TV. The picture you're viewing now is a 4K video on YouTube. Now, 4K video was absolutely fantastic. The camera won't pick that up. HD is very very good but non HD isn't very good the other TV non HD and HD on the other TV mm, there wasn't a lot of difference but on this TV non HD and HD there's a big difference which can be somewhat annoying at times so, to summarise, non-HD isn't very good on this TV, HD is very good on this TV and 4K videos are absolutely mind-blowing, you think you're walking down that street. So, that is it. I've got a bigger TV, which I'm not that much a fan of huge tellies. But it will save me money 
uh, rather than having another TV on 24-7 uh, so that's in a nutshell if you're buying a big TV do your homework and make your mind up thank you